So how do we create these teeth around the gear? Here's my attempt at doing this. I've got the top gear activated. Let's create this center relief first. So C for circle, click on this plane, and we'll just drag something out like so. Q to press pull, and we'll drag it down, say, 0.1 inches. Now I'm gonna hide my other parts, because I don't wanna see them. And first off, let's see where our origin is. Our origin's over here. It's hard to see it over there, but it's there. I want a couple uh, uh, planes to work on. So construct tangent plane. I'm gonna click on the outside, and I want that uh, plane to be square to this plane. I found Fusion to be fussy about this. Sometimes it just works, sometimes it doesn't. How did that work? There it worked. So click OK, and you can see my origin. I know it's a little shaded, is square to that plane. Perfect. Now construct point at center of circle. Click here. And now I'll do construct offset plane. When I click that plane, you wouldn't know it, but you can click this dot. And now I've got a plane right down the center, and I've got a plane offset over here. Hit L for line, click this plane, and I'm going to create a piece of construction geometry. So I'm on a line, I'm going to snap it to this origin, and just come up here some distance. Hit escape, click that line once, and hit X, and you see it turns dotted for a construction line. L again, and I can now create um, my triangle. Now, lots of weird, weird things happen here. You can see this purple stuff is projection stuff. I don't really care about it. Um, I'm just gonna kind of keep pounding away here. This is again a great example of where I kind of brute force things. Don't always know what I'm doing, but usually we get it done. Uh, lots of ways to create a triangle. I'm gonna do D for dimension. Oops, now see, here's a good example where I, I, I just want to work on this triangle. So let's expand my misspelled top gear, turn off the body. Um, I do want to see my sketch though. So now, no, I do, you know what, I don't need to see the um, construction planes. Perfect. So D for dimension. Why is it getting these? There we go. I want that to be 90, and I want these to be equal. That's one way to get a square triangle and then I'll hit D for dimension and I'm going to make the, this dimension say 0 .005. You basically want it pretty small. You'll see why here in a second. Stop sketch, uh, turn back on my body and make sure I've got what I want which is a little tiny 90 degree triangle right there in the middle. Now turn on my other plane which is actually the first one here and hit L. Let's sketch on it. Uh, same thing, I'm going to create, actually I could probably reuse this construction line, so let's just turn off the body, and this is kind of weird, but um, we're actually using this construction line, but we're sketching on a different plane, to so see how the little first one's up here, this one's back there. So again, make it easy on yourself, let's hide the first one. Orient my view here, oops, like so, D for dimension. 90, make them equal, and oh, see that's what's freaky to me is I, I didn't want that to go off center line, so can I do, let's see if this will work, horizontal, vertical, that point to there, and it looks like it did snap in, but be real careful with that folks, it's a big pet peeve of mine. Now we, let's take a step back here, the last thing is actually the closest, it's not even hard, but we want these to be evenly spaced around, and if we say there's 30 peaks, 30 valleys, let's just assume we want 30 of them. Um, and we, I happen to have an 875 diameter circle, so watch this. Edit this sketch here. It, uh, get rid of this purple thing, I don't want this. Um, Click on it, hit delete, uh, alpha line. This is the, what I want. So the dimension of this is going to be parentheses 0.875. I could do that as a formula linked to the cir uh, circle diameter to be p correctly parametric. And we want the circumference of it. So times 
3.1415926. That's what I use for pi divided by 30. So in theory, that should give me 30 instances of that line around the circumference. I would welcome folks to tell me I'm wrong on that. I may well be, but let's take a look. I think we're going to get what we want. Only thing is I want that to stay um, collinear. So edit this sketch again, and let's just see. Can I click collinear this? Yep, awesome. Stop sketch. Now turn my other sketch back on. I've got my little triangle, my big triangle. Create loft. And I want to loft this over to this as a, it defaulted to a cut. Click OK. OK, I hope I'm right. Create pattern circular objects. Pick the loft down here. The axis, I think you can just pick the outside. And instances 30. Click OK. Am I right? I think I'm right. I mean, I may be off by, you know, very, that, that may be the dimension I'm off by right there. I think that's insignificant. It could be uh, because I didn't take pi out far enough. Maybe it's another reason. Um, but, uh, yeah, and that's actually relatively easy to cut with a 90 degree chamfer end mill. Um, like so, right, folks? Um, again, I guess I'm curious to see if you guys think I'm right or wrong on that. Hit Q. Here's what's so, here's what's so cool about Fusion. You can literally just click this face and just pull it back up. And I know the SolidWorks guy in me sometimes is like, oh no, that's not right. That's not, you know, scientific and precise engineering. But for here, it's actually awesome. Turn back our other, or go back to our master view, turn our other parts on, select our com main component. And we still got all our joints, like so. Uh, let's do these dimples on this. This is actually pretty, well, uh, pretty easy. Although I would also welcome a improved method because I think I'm actually going to do it slightly incorrectly. Insert, uh, sorry, construct tangent plane, click here, doesn't actually really matter what face you're on, click OK. And I'm just going to go ahead right now and click construct offset plane here and I'm going to just say 0.02 to 20 thousandths higher. R for rectangle, click here. So I'm on the first plane folks and right up at the top here I'm going to actually I want to do it um, spanning the green line so make one a little bit bigger dimension it as oops 0 0.02 is that 0.02 yeah I guess so and 0.02 oops Let's try that again. Sorry, start over. So, well, on the knob, I should have two different planes, and we want to sketch on this one at first. So, stop the sketch. Again, start over here. R for rectangle. Click this plane, and I don't want it. To, I want it to span the center of my green line. So, dimension this. Let's say 0.01, maybe. Uh, let's see. No, this should, be, this should be the bigger one. So 0.02 dimension. These little green lines are new in this new version of Fusion, and that's fine. What I want is for that point to be on there. So can I click? Let's try. Click there. That, that doesn't make any sense. Um, let's hit. Let's sketch a point that is. Ooh, that's interesting. It's not snapping too. See, that's what I don't like when it creates these purple uh, projection geometries. I don't want these, folks. Um, hide my body. I don't mean to look um, like I'm, I'm scrambling around, but sometimes I think it's nice to show um, the real world and not just some perfectly smooth tutorial. So put a point in here. Now it should snap. It does. And I want it to snap to my center. So here we go. Now I can just do a horizontal vertical that point to there. Perfect. Now I have this little rectangle that's right on um, my center line. Stop sketch. Now I'm going to activate my other plane, which is the one slightly offset from that. See that? 
It actually might be too far, folks. Let's edit that. Uh, edit feature. Yeah, 0.01, 10,000. R for rectangle, click on it. And come up here and we'll just make one uh, a little bit smaller. Say 0.01. 1 and um, hmm, let's do point I think this will actually be kind of cool sweet so that's actually got that centered right on there now the same thing actually loft I'm gonna loft from here to here I created a little pyramid cool right and we can do create pattern, circular pattern. What's my object? Well, it's that little loft guy. Um, I did not do this formulaically, so let's try this out. Uh, we, I think we saw an 875 rectangle, right? 0.875 times 3.1415926 is 2.748 divided by 0 0.02, 137 of them maybe, I don't know. Um, axis would be, that's fine. And how many of them? The computer's probably gonna freak out on the, uh, on the, oh no, that's okay. I've actually handled it pretty well. And we'll just do create pattern. This is actually weird, rectangular pattern. Objects would be both the original loft and the pattern. Direction would be, ooh, okay. So I need an axle. Um, let's do construct axis through cylinder okay that gave me an axle great now I can go back create pattern rectangular pattern objects will be the loft and the pattern the direction will be this axle and what we say is we're point um, change the distance to spacing distance would be 0.02 and just do Let's just do three rows. My computer's probably gonna freak out on me here. For now, let's see what we get. Now you're creating a huge amount of geometry. Yep, that works. So you get the idea, we'll quickly add. A few more. Ooh, oh here we go. Um, eight. Probably not the best idea to model this if you're not on a pretty good powered computer. Um, I guess you would want to model it if you were, say, 3D printing it. As a machinist, uh, I probably wouldn't do this because it's really cosmetic for me. Still pretty cool. Uh, I, and I, lots of folks have mentioned that uh, we could use screen recording software that's based on an HDMI intercept type cable, like a hardware versus software. but. Uh, I like the software because it's so convenient. I do it on different computers, and um, it can capture the keyboard screen, uh, keyboard inputs. Um, and I don't, you know, it's usually not that detrimental here. Sorry about this. Okay, there's our knurled type knob. Activate our other components again. Go back up to the main assembly thing. Activate it. Sorry. Just show the other ones. And. Uh, that's basically it. Um, not necessarily a perfect replica, but I think hopefully that shows off uh, what you guys, uh, or hopefully you guys have learned something I should say from that. And hopefully you guys enjoy these Fusion Fridays. Uh, I know they're not for everybody uh, because they're a little bit different than the machining stuff. Um, I have to laugh when people give them thumbs down. Don't watch them if you don't enjoy uh, CAD CAM Fusion 360. I don't care. Um, but I certainly enjoy it. I love little challenges like this because they push you outside your comfort zone. And uh, yeah. I appreciate the thumbs up, the likes, the comments, the shares. Please, I would love to hear how I could have done either or anything here better. Um, that's what makes us all better is when we, uh, when we help push each other. Thank you guys. Take care. See you next Friday.